Um, Josh in Philly. Josh. Hey, what's up, guys? What's happening? Yeah, there's a home hey, for that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I want to ask you guys, like, uh, is there such thing as a good woman or do you just settle for less? Settle. Because, like, <laughs> <laughs> Mike Moore but says I settle. All, like, I hit on women of, like, all races, you know, I don't just hit on white chicks, whatever, and, you know, all ages, 18 and over, not, like, under 18, like Mark Burns over there. No. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they're all using cunts, you know, like, and a lot of them, they date on race, like, they go, I didn't date a white guy or a black guy, and if you don't have nothing going on, you know, you ain't gonna get no pussy, but if you do have stuff going on, you could be a sleaze ball, you could be a murderer, or like Ted Bundy, like a fucking famous rapist, like Mark Burns as well, and mm -hmm. still get chicks, you know? Well, he's not famous. Yeah, that's true. Well, uh, listen, I think there's such thing as a good woman, you know, a keeper. I I was never one to want to get married and have a kid till I met uh, till I met my wife, and uh, for me, it was it was a no brainer. Once I met her, I knew it was a done deal. But you I know? mean, a woman. I mean, besides the woman that was hypnotized and roofied. <laughs> right, uh, right. Well, when you bring that up, then I got nothing. Uh, Mark Burns. Do I think there's such thing as a good woman? Yes. Um, yes, my mother is a good woman. You know why? Because she's home in an urn. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's why. That's when they're fun. Once they start, they're okay in the beginning, women. They really are okay. They're okay for like the, like the first year or two. And then right around two years old, they learn how to talk. And then it's all <laughs> fucking downhill for them. All down. Hill for them. Shout out right. to so, you know, there's the good yeah, and the, the bad, I guess. Yeah, but see, the thing is, my mom is a huge cunt, by the way. And I'm Fuck like, her. Mm. She really is. Right. So she walks around. She walks around like with ripped shorts all the time. She shits with the door open. Right. So your mom's really your dad, sounds like. Yeah, seems like it. Well, uh, I got she news for you. The door when... open. Why are you still living with her, Josh? I, I don't got a job right now. Right. Times like are tough. That ah. <laughs> well, that's, uh, listen, and that will probably, look, all those features you just mentioned about your mom will probably be the woman you end up marrying will have those features mm -hmm. as well. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so good luck. You're going to be like, one day you're going to be like, wow, she shits with the door open. I fucking love this broad. <laughs> and you're not even going to realize it. They say you always want the one like your mother. That's what they say. I mean, you know, my wife doesn't have a heavy accent and sound like Harry Belafonte, but, uh, <laughs> you know, they're... they're uh... But does she like anal in the parking lot? That's the question. No comment. Ah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, listen, I think there is. These two bitter, angry fucks don't, and uh, and we'll leave it at that. I've been overruled, I guess. Yeah, two to one. Mm-hmm. Mm. You, think, you think it's an American thing, like you have to travel outside of the country to meet some fucking Russian broad or something? Well, if, according to Mark's advice, if you don't want him to speak, then, uh, well, then no, he's that got, might he's be. Well, got a point, because they're a little mouthy in the United States of America. Right. You go to one of these... The whole freedom thing? Yeah, yeah you, you know, go to one of these countries where they got these bitches in line, they're wearing a fucking tent, right. or they're walking six feet behind you, right. and those guys know right. what they're doing. Keep yeah. these bitches clammed yeah, up. But then you bring them here. It's like the Eddie Murphy routine. Remember, mm -hmm. he brings them over, and all of a sudden they're... Right, Eddie wanted a bitch with no pockets. Right, according right. to Eddie, just naked, <laughs> nothing, no pants. Because pants you get a taste of pockets. the good life. Yeah, right. see, the, the problem with women is that they have all the pussy, mm -hmm. and eventually this dawns on them, right. like that they okay. have all the pussy, and then they get right, a little man. No pussy, no peace. Right. right. What's that, Josh? You want to say something? Uh Oh, I was talking to Mark Burns. I say, good quote there, uh, Richard Pryor. All right, <laughs> I didn't say I wouldn't. If you're gonna steal, you might as well steal from the kings. Right. Why don't you go watch your mother take a shit, Josh, you unemployed <laughs> prick? How's that? Fuck the Eagles. And you might want to look into like starting... You your girlfriend's ass when she falls asleep. <laughs> creepy. Uh, and you might want to look into starting a website. And you on your wife when she was sleeping. What's creepy? You're sniffing her ass while she's sleeping? But we had a discussion. A but we had a discussion. Sniffing but her the ass difference is sleeping. my wife knew that that was a possibility because she had told me that she wouldn't have a problem with that if I did decide to do <laughs> That's that. That's why she wears those goggles to bed. Unlike, yeah, right. <laughs> well, then, then why, I didn't then know why the did snorkel, you, though. I didn't get that. Then why did you stop dead cold busted when she actually woke up and caught? Yeah. Because the hot thing was she was asleep, asleep. and then when she woke up, <laughs> I'm like, just, how stupid do I look? You're just right a guy now. jerking off over your wife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, and it, and it was right when I was finishing too, so I had to like point it down, and now I'm now I'm now I'm basically giving my carpet yeah. my all. Yeah, you're Lee Harvey Oswald trying yeah. to trying to readjust. His and then name. of course she's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Nothing." I'm <laughs> there's load shooting out of me. I'm hunch. I'm, I'm happy shaped New like Year. A, yeah, I'm shaped like a question mark. I'm feverishly beating my dick, yeah. and then uh, what's going on? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah.
She thinks she, she, she thinks she's in a Gallagher audience. <laughs> all of a sudden, <laughs> and she, she, there's nothing wrong with sniffing a sleeping woman's ass. Any but what you tonight? did, no, what you did was a. It was something that was never discussed that you were into. Mm -hmm. Never vocalize that to her. A man needs his secrets. <laughs> secrets is one thing. An offense is another That's, thing. It's, you it's, know, it's, sexual crime. That's yeah. a whole other thing. Uh, and so then she would sleep. And then not only would you smell her ass while she was sleeping, A, you were hoping it smelled, let's be honest. No, I'm not. But and B, else would just sm smell if, it. Listen, if I, wanted to, wants, if, if I wanted to sniff a stinky ass, I'd go down to Philadelphia and hook up with Josh's mom. <laughs> well, but regardless, you smell, and you never told, you never brought it up afterwards because you knew, you knew it was wrong. I put it up on the air. This show has got You got busted and right. brought it up on the air. I mentioned it here. There's got to be 30 or 40 people listening to this bullshit. Someone's going to tell her. I uh, don't know. Not tonight. We got two of them here. In the and Josh, the answer to your question is a good woman is one who doesn't press charges when she wakes up and you're either sniffing or jerking <laughs> off over her. That's a good That's woman. That's a good point. Yes. Thank you, sir. All right. Thanks. My wife gets upset if she wakes up and I'm in the bed. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. That's the difference between being married yeah. 13.